Hey everyone, Devin here from American Aquarium. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. We're going to be going over uh, kind of a simple topic, but something that's asked often, so I figure we should address it in a video. But that's how long does a wonder shell last? So, first, let's go over the idea of what a wonder shell is used for. This is an important mineralization of the aquarium, which you would see in your GH reading, which the idea is that you don't have these minerals, but we're actually providing the electrical charge that these minerals give when put into the water. So this is the difference between an open system and a closed system where an open system, rivers, lakes, and streams, they run over rocks and they, they provide an electrical charge to the water and this keeps the osmoregulation of the fish boosted. In a closed system aquarium, we don't get this benefit so we need to supplement it into the aquarium by adding these minerals in and doing it constantly. So American Aquarium Products recommends using the Wonder Shell because when you put this into the aquarium it slowly dissolves and slowly releases this electrical charge into the aquarium. So to answer the question of how long it lasts, the answer to this question is, is that it varies. I will say that generically it should last say between two to four weeks but this can vary based on where it's placed in the tank versus the flow, the amount of flow, and how soft the water is to begin with. American Aquarium recommends that you keep this in a part of the tank that's going to have the slowest flow. This will make it so it slowly dissolves and the idea is that we're not trying to increase the amount of mineral in the aquarium, we're just trying to slowly release an electrical charge constantly. So the idea is that we try to time how fast the shell is dissolving also with our water change. So if it's getting smaller or is completely dissolved even a little bit after the time that it's dissolved, we try to then have a water change afterwards so that we can remove the depleted mineral and then add a new shell which is adding the electrical charge. We don't want to continuously add a shell in without doing a water change because it will just increase the mineral not necessarily having the electrical charge and we'll see this in the GH reading. We never want to get our GH above 500 ppm. So if that gives you guys a little more idea of how long the Wonder Shell actually lasts and what it's used for, I want you to know I appreciate you here at American Aquarium. Thank you for taking a look at our content, our written articles, and our videos. Thank you for your support and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.